Hola, ¿qué tal? Bienvenidos a Kino Spanish Cafe, where I hope by now that you know it's a place where we have a little bit of conversation, always some cafecito, and most importantly, we are here to learn some Spanish. In today's lesson, we are going to learn some express, some greetings, expressions that you use uh, when you meet somebody or when you want to know a person a little bit better. We'll go over some of those questions. So we're going to go right to the piece after, right to the board after I have my customary cafecito. Gracias. Mm -hmm. Fantástico. Um, I, the, the main thing in this lesson is to know how you are addressing the person. If you address the person as tú, and remember that you address a person as tú when that person is about your same age, when that person is your peer, for instance, or when it's a relative, um, or when you know that person well. You use usted when that person, always when that person is an authority over you, or most of the time, uh, in Latin countries anyhow, or when that person is not well known to you, you don't know that person very well, or when you want to keep your distance, you use usted. You use usted to say, okay, uh, we are not best friends. Um, these are some of the questions that I thought uh, would be interesting Hola is used for everyone. Hola, señor. Como es, hola, señor. Como está usted? Uh, or, hola, Pedro, for instance, someone on a first name basis. Como estás? Do you hear the difference that when you are referring to tú, you say, como estás? And when you are addressing a person as usted, you say, como está? without the S. And if you have my, or go over my lesson on estar, you remember how to conjugate this verb, estar. So, usted takes this form with an A at the end, tú takes an AS. The next question, ¿Cómo te llamas? What is your name? ¿Cómo te llamas? If I was meeting a child for the first time and uh, I wanted to be friendly, I would say, Hola, ¿cómo te llamas? I teach elementary school, so when I get a new student in my Spanish class, one of the first questions that I ask is, ¿cómo te llamas? I refer to that child as te, because that child is, uh, is young and uh, small, and I don't need to be that formal with that, with uh, he or she, with, with that child. ¿Cómo te llamas? If I was addressing an adult or an older person, and I'm using usted, I say, como se llama? Parenthesis, usted. Como se llama? No es at the end here. Now, I, let's go continue with my example as a, a new student. De donde eres? Where are you from? Literally in Spanish, you say, from where are you? This little word here, de, means of or from. So, de donde eres means from where are you. In English, of course, we say, where are you from? So, I'm talking to my new student. I say, hola, como te llamas? De donde eres? Where are you from? If I meet somebody that I don't know well, I want to know where that person is from, I would say, de donde es usted? De donde es usted? Because, again, if you have my lesson on, in this case, ser, the form of ser that goes with usted is es. De donde es usted? Another question, still with my student here. Donde vives tú? Where do you live? If you, in my, in my lesson on verbs, you remember that the to form of the verb, the conjugation with to, would be es. Donde vives tú? Where do you live? Let's go to the formal, or usted. 
¿Dónde vive? Buena pies. ¿Usted? ¿Dónde vive usted? Where do you live, sir? En parentesis. ¿Cuál es tu profesión? What is your profession or your occupation? Obviously, you don't ask a little child uh, cuál es tu profesión, but uh, if you are addressing someone with tú and you want to know what that person does, you say, ¿cuál es tu profesión? Tu profesión. Notice that when tú means your, the possessive um, a pronoun, your, it does not have an accent mark on it. When it means you, then it does have an accent mark. ¿Cuál es tu profesión? If you're addressing someone as usted, ¿cuál es su profesión? Tu profesión, su profesión. One thing that I hope you've noticed um, on the board is that all question words in Spanish do have an accent mark. That's why como has an accent mark, uh, donde, where, cual, which means which or what, in this case what, the other thing that I think, I hope you've noticed, is that in Spanish, when you are writing a question, you have what I guess we call upside down question mark. This is your clue that a question is coming. You put this upside down question mark before the question when you're writing. And of course, you close the question with the regular question mark that you are familiar with. After you have met a person for the first time, you say, or one of the ways, one of the expressions that you could use is, Fue un gusto conocerte. Fue un gusto conocerte. You could substitute gusto uh, with placer. They're both the same. They both mean the same and uh, they're equally correct. It was a pleasure to meet you. Fue un gusto conocerte. Even if I'm talking to my imaginary student here, I would say, uh, fue un gusto conocerte, Mary, or usted, fue un gusto, un placer, o un gusto, conocerlo, if it's a man, or conocerla, if it's a woman. That wasn't too difficult. I'm going to now tell you some goodbye expressions. The one that you have all heard for sure is adios. And I hope that you do have my lesson on um, uh, Spanish pronunciation, the consonants, because if you remember, when the D comes between two vowels, it doesn't sound adios. It sounds like the TH in the word than or the. So instead of adios, you would say adios, adios. Um, hasta mañana, until tomorrow. In Spanish, the word hasta means until, so you use it a lot. Hasta mañana, hasta pronto, until soon, hasta luego, until later, or hasta la próxima, until next time. Um, in, in English, we say see you, see you tomorrow, see you soon, see you later, see you next time, hasta la próxima vez. So that's it for this short and hopefully helpful lesson. I will have the written form of this lesson and uh, please visit my website at tinaspanishcafe.com. Let me do that again, www.tinaspanishcafe.com or in español www.tinaspanishcafe.com. Hasta la próxima. Chao.